Hi hey guys, this is Central Civilian Auditor. We are back here in Marshallville. Uh, first time I got here, I was arrested by the Chief of Police, who is a follower of my channel. Um, since then, um, I don't know if he was fired or retired, but he's no longer here. He's been replaced by another chief. Uh, the second time I came here to finish up what I didn't get to do the first time, and they had an emergency meeting <laughs> that they had to go to and shut down the whole city hall. Uh, the first time uh, when I walked in, they had a sign that said that they were open until 5, and then they marked it to 4 when I walked in, and then they closed it down, and it wasn't even 4 o'clock because they had an emergency meeting, and then I caught the mayor sneaking out the back of the building uh, with the new chief um, probably about 30 or so minutes later uh, to go to that emergency meeting. They had to shut down City Hall for immediately to go to uh, to a bank, according to the police department, that doesn't even exist. So. Um, we're going to do a follow-up on that um, and go see what kind of records they have here and see if <laughs> see if they are um, going to violate my rights again or if they're going to learn from the mistakes from last time. Um, again, this is just to go in here to look at the records that I was trying to get the first time and the second time. Hey, how are you? Uh, I just came to look at the, this book that's right here. Okay. Thank you. assessment findings. Do you guys happen to have your um, city budget planner book? Because this looks like this is your city um, city planner book for the uh, city budget. What about the budget book? Yeah, do you have that here? Jennifer, Jennifer where is your budget? We bought it. We can't hear it. Where is the city budget?
there who said that whatever you need, you need to call the attorney and he will get it for you. So I'm not a plot. You can't let me see the He's budget book. Whatever, what, the mayor just said that whatever you need, you need to call our attorney and he will provide it for you. Okay, but I want to file an open records request now then, please. Can you take my request? Can you take my request for an open records request? Jennifer, what is your phone for an open records request? <clears throat> Um, can I speak to the mayor just for a sec, if you don't mind? Uh, is the mayor on a conference call with you? Are you available to the mayor? I'm sorry, is the mayor on a conference call? Okay, well, can I speak with the city admin then? Or city clerk? She's going to bring you that form. Okay. Um, Um, I just want to inspect the financial books. Is what I, that's what I, that's what I came in. That's why she said you need to call our attorney. Okay, but that's not what the law says. Okay, that's what she says. And she's okay. our boss, so she's, that's what we need. Actually, she's going to get you in trouble for that because that's a violation of the Open Records Act. This is where we're back to this circle motion again. Under the Open Records Act, she's not even listening to me. Uh, okay. She gave me a form here, but according to the Open Records Act, the law, it's a law. It makes it a misdemeanor to violate that law. It's a crime. Okay? But I'm, trying, I'm trying to work with you guys to keep you guys from getting in any further trouble. The Open Records Act is just like a law, like burglary is a law. It has a criminal sentence to it. The Open Records Act, the law, has a criminal sentence as well, too as well as opposing fines. You could serve up to a year in jail for that. When records are readily available, which the book's supposed to be readily available for the budget, it's supposed to be produced so that I can inspect it. And making me jump through hoops, me specifically, that's discrimination. Because if somebody else comes in here and asks for that book, they have no problem giving that book to. So. She has the book. I'm asking, could you please just? I just want to inspect it. I just need to check the date on there, and just want to check to see what the annual budget is, which is in the book that she has over there. That's all I'm asking for. Um, I'm not giving him my phone number, but I can take his number. Well, I just gave it to you. Uh, this is his number? Yeah. Okay, but you understand by making me contact him. I know that that's our attorney. Please call the okay. attorney and please. I, just, I have a First Amendment right just like you do. Okay, you do, but you, your, own, your own government duty and you're denying me, you're denying me records I'm access to, and then you shut the door. Okay. I'm not getting you, buddy. Uh, just don't start this again, okay? That sounds like a threat. So you're promising, okay? So okay, you're threatening. Okay, if you're an employee here. I'm not an employee here. Wow. Not an employee, but has. Thank you. I do have a, another question. He says that he's not an employee. Why are non employees allowed to sit? 
behind the secured area. Hey guys, this is Central Civilian Auto. I'm in Marshallville, Georgia. I went live real quick because things are already getting hot again. Come here to ask for to look at the budget records, and the mayor over here shuts the window and tells them to contact uh, or told Jennifer, the city manager here, uh, clerk, excuse me, um, to contact the attorney to get open records here. And there's a gentleman here that claims he's not part of the. Uh, department over here uh, that was sitting in this chair here uh, he was in the very first video as well too um, he, he says he's not an employee here um, but he's behind a secured area just sitting here in City Hall uh, he just threatened me uh, if I take a photograph of him Is that? Good, morning, Good morning how you doing sir That's the gentleman right there that threatened. Yeah, the gentleman in the blue shirt said that if I take a photograph of him, that he promised <laughs> that it was going to be a bad day for me. This is hostility here. But anyway, um, like I said, I came to look at the uh, budget planning, and this is the attorney that they told me I had to call to get records that were readily available. So, this is who they're instructing. That's who they're instructing me to contact to, to look at readily available information here. The city clerk was like, she's got First Amendment rights not to talk to me, but she doesn't understand that she is a paid employee and refuses to give me the records. Did you um, find the book? Oh, you want to speak to the city clerk. I'm even to the clerk. You're looking for Miss Jennifer. Yeah, well, Miss Jennifer hasn't come out yet, so. Sorry guys, I inadvertently hit the stop recording button. You know, um, most cities, municipalities have the budget out, like on the table or counter somewhere, where anybody can walk up and grab it. Um, is it in her office, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. Is the budget thing in her office? The the budget book? Come on now, you gonna ignore me too now? She don't know the power. I was about to call her for you, but she don't know the power. Okay. Well, as soon as I get the book and can look at the budget book, I'll be happy. I'm, that's all I came here today to do. Look to look at.
police retaliation. No just calls to run that. They still want to play the shenanigans. So this is y'all's new police chief here. Wow, that was up front. So this is what one fired police chief, a retired police chief, and this is what you get with the next one. <laughs> really, wow. Yep, that is the police chief, guys. Yeah, zero accountability here, guys. Zero. So, if they run the run the tag, which would be a violation of the law because there was no violations or anything done like that. Just going to wreck. I'm still waiting for the city clerk. She said no. Who's her? I don't know what she, said. she she said no. Uh, um, who's her supervisor? The mayor. Okay, I need to speak to the mayor. I need the to file. Okay, I'll wait because I need to file a complaint. That's considered denial of service. That's illegal as well too. I don't know why y'all gotta make things so complicated here. This doesn't make any sense. That's a big ego. Again, this is the third attempt that I've made to try to get the city's budget um, book here. Uh, first time led to an arrest, second time led to them shutting down City Hall early, and now third time they have uh, refused service, um, shut the doors, laughed and had the new police chief try to intimidate me and it's probably running the tags illegally which again is a violation of the law um what was the name of the gen the, the guys uh the, the male police chief y'all had here uh about a year or so ago you remember his name We're waiting. Do you have a chair that I can sit in while I'm waiting? So it appears that they're going to be making me wait for a while. Uh, 
Excuse me, what's your name, officer? Excuse me, what is your name, officer? Chief. <laughs> it would be much faster just to give me the budget book so I can look at it and leave than continue to do this. This is ridiculous. So here's the mayor of Marshallville. Doesn't she look happy? Again, not an employee. See what it says. One horse town. I believe it. <coughs> I hate to keep doing this to you because you're the only one here. Um, can you notify the mayor that I need to speak with her for a complaint against one of her employees? I don't know if she's in there talking to the chief of police there, so I don't know if she's on the conference call. It seems a little suspicious. Well, she's on the conference call. She is on the conference call? Uh-huh. Okay. The uh, city clerk takes open records request. Um, yes. All right. Can you ask her out to come out so I can give her open records request then, please? Uh, I would like to give it to her verbally. She can write it down. Again, that's another provision of the law itself. She can take the request and forward it to the attorney if she needs to, but if she's responsible for open records requests. Again, this is the attorney they said that you have to call in order to get open records request. And this only applies to me, which is discrimination. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm Charles Jones, an attorney for the uh, city of Marshallville. You're who? Charles Jones. You may have spoken on the phone. I understand that there's some information that you might need. I just wanted to inspect 
the budget book, which she has in her office, according to the Open Records Act. And you can certainly do that if you want to make an appointment to do it. They're trying to run an operation here. They can't stop what they're doing to accommodate you at this time, but they will <laughs> certainly take you uh, okay. make an appointment for you to come by and do that. Okay. She, but, she, but uh, let, me, let me stop you real quick, please. Let me stop you real quick. Okay. First of all, they've had time to come out here and talk to me. It's a book she can you, pull you out. You are disrupting um, the operations of city city business right now. They will make an appointment for you to come by and inspect and look at anything you want to look at. Okay. But you but you cannot stop them from doing their work. Okay. There's a limited staff here. They have things that they have to do for the rest of the public, mm -hmm. and they will accommodate your request. But, you, but what you have been doing is interrupting and interfering with their ability to do their work. How so? Would you agree that? How uh, so? You have, would you agree that they they could they could make an appointment for you to come by and inspect whatever you want to? Wouldn't that be a reasonable thing to do? Couldn't you agree they could just give me the book as well, too, which could have been reasonable? Because they've come out here and talked to me twice already. They could have brought the book out and set it down, let me inspect it. And, and they will make an appointment to, for you but, to do that. But, but how, am, how am I disrupting business by I'm conducting business? About it. I'll tell you what we, what we will do. It's not an argument. I'm asking you. You made the accusation that I'm disturbing business. If you, I'm if you conducting contact, business. If you your contact number? I'll be happy to, you know, if, if they can't schedule an appointment for you, which I know they can, and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll do, um, I'll be happy to uh, assist with that as well. So, if, since you're here now, and they said I have to... No, I, I have court in a, in a little while. I don't have time to stop my day to accommodate you either. But you're here but, now talking to me. Can you just grab the book real no, quick? No, sir, but, but we will okay. certainly send an appointment So, you're you. not here to accommodate me. You're here so, to harass me is what you're no, trying no, to do. No, you're harassing them. By asking to view public records? I'll just what we'll do. If you give me your contact information... Uh, I'll make sure that uh, I get back in touch with you or you can get back in touch with me if you don't get what you need. I'll give you a judge's name if you prefer. I'm sorry? Give you a judge's name if you no, no, prefer. No, no. Do you have his contact information? <laughs> do you understand okay. with COVID, if you're in here, other folks cannot come in? Okay. Do you understand by not providing the information well, that I request? No, because I'm still here conducting business. No, by conducting... Actually, actually, I am. So... So... If By you no, contact I've listened to you talk. If you listen to me talk for a moment. No, no, actually, I'm not. You've, you've wasted enough of their time. We'll give you what you need. But you've got to leave the premises so that they can conduct business. Okay. I am conducting official business by viewing public records and trying you to file, excuse me, and to file open records. If you're going to talk over me and be a jerk, we have nothing else to say. Well, absolutely, we have nothing okay, else to say. Okay, because I'm trying to file open records uh, request to too. That is under the law. Georgia law says I can file an open records request. I am doing it verbally in which they can write it down. If you can write it down, or if you, since you've told I'm trying them. to give it, and I haven't told anybody. The clerk has come out three times and said she's not going to talk to me to take my request. You don't understand that's a violation of the law that makes it a misdemeanor and, and fines punishable as well, too? You, um, you, you're a city attorney. You're supposed to be keeping them from getting in trouble. So you, can you, you ask them just... Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact the, the magistrate and we'll file a, a petition with the magistrate and we'll decide how this ought to be done. Magistrate for what? As far as getting open records request? Would you like to give me your uh, information? I'll give you my lawyer's information if you prefer. Uh, that would be great. Okay. That would be great. I'll tell you what, he'll, he'll contact you. I've got your number. I, I think that you're just saying that. I don't think you have a lawyer. If you do, give me his information and I'll call him and we'll work this thing you'll, out. You'll find out. Anyway, as I'm saying, you're also preventing me from following open records requests as well, no, too. I ask you to, you, um, can, you can write it you down. You said you had no time to talk to me, but you spent at least four minutes here explaining to me that you know what? I can't file an I open record request. I regret spending four, four minutes of my time because all you're here to do is provoke the folks here and interfere with work. By asking to look I at the budget. You, this is the third time I've come to look for the budget, and three times have you, you have not got to. Have you ever made an appointment? You don't have to make an appointment. Have, have you ever made an appointment? Do you, is it required to make an appointment? No, I'm asking, is it required to make an appointment to, to view required, records? It's required for you to let us know what you need so we can accommodate And I have asked for that, and they have refused to but give you it to me. To, you, you can't just come in and, and disrupt the functions of the what's, what's disrupting? By asking for records that you have maintained here? Disrupting that doesn't make any you sense. You understand that there are COVID restrictions that are in place here. You're defying those. You don't even have a mask on. You're defying those. You're preventing other people from coming in and, and, and no, doing service. They're preventing it by not providing the records. I'm here for service. Good day to you, sir. Wow. Um, again, I'm still waiting to talk to the clerk and to the mayor for the complaint. 
that is my official business. When I do those two things, I'll be leaving the premises. She's on the conference call. The mayor's on the okay, well, the city clerk then, please. Disrupting business by trying to conduct business. Interesting. I would like to inspect the budget that you have. I don't need you guys to email it to me unless you want to do that to the whole city budget if it's on format already. But I actually came to inspect it today. That's all I came to do. The second thing, I guess, since your lawyer is now handling everything, um, your chief of police has created a public document on her personal phone, uh, a video recording me, and also my vehicle. I need the video footage of that and all photos from that from her phone. Also, I have observed other officers in this city using personal cell phones to conduct official business. So I need to know how many public records for the last three months, which includes photos and videos and text messages and emails that each one of the phones have on them, uh, including the uh, chief of police. Um, she can comply with the Open Records Act now because I know she's here by letting me just inspect the video and the photograph she's taken now. Um, and that's actually really it. Like I said, I only came to look at the budget book today. Um, and that's all I came to do. So would you be, can I look at the city budget you book? No, you can bring it here. It's fine. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm afraid for my life with you. You're so afraid of my life. And I don't want you around me, so no, you're not coming in here. <laughs> what makes you afraid? <laughs> okay, we're going with that narrative now. Going with that narrative now. So by coming in here and asking to look at records and videotaping, because I don't belong here, I'm not from here, and I've been here already too long from the first time she said that when I first came here 55 seconds and called the police on me. Now she's claiming fear for life. What bullshit. Pardon the language, guys. This is the narrative they're trying to run now. You heard it. You heard it right now. Again, I wasn't asking to go back there. I was asking for them to bring the book here. And again, I just proved that they have time to sit there and take my request, but don't have time to bring me the book from there to place it here for me to look at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was really trying to avoid the word caring, guys, but it looks like we have one here, unfortunately. All right, well, she's taken my request. I still need to speak to the mayor for the complaint, and that will be it. And I'll be, re and I'll be ready to head out, ma'am. I'm sorry, I, I, did you hear me? I was talking to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. What was your first name? Britangela. Um, I'm sorry. Um, my name's Ken. Um, I'm just waiting to talk to the mayor uh, for the complaint, and as soon as I get done with the complaint, I'm out of here. What's your name? Ken? Yes. So she fears for her life, but comes up here and takes a written request from me, all calm and casual. Very interesting. And here comes the lawyer guy again. What are you looking I'm sorry. What are you looking at? So I guess the conference call is about trying to figure out how to violate my rights again. Uh, 
Um, can I get the mayor's email address? I'll just email her my complaint, if you don't mind, please. Because apparently this department is more interested in trying to violate people's rights than trying to serve the public. They even brought their lawyer here who was too busy to even help me get the book, but happened to come back again. So to recap, I'm disrupt, disrupting business by conducting business. Okay. So this is mayor's business card. So, Mayor Davis. Buffroom. Ma'am, I want to tell you thank you. I appreciate your professionalism. I don't understand what's going on over here. Why y'all keep the why the, the the budget's such a big deal here? I said this is the third request I've made to inspect it. First time I got arrested for asking for it. Second time they shut down City Hall, and the third time I've got a lawyer over here now. So something. I mean, this is your town. This is your town. I would highly suggest y'all look into that as, as, as the members of the public, the citizens in this town, three times. They've got a lawyer involved now, and it, it seems a little odd. I've been to many towns asking for records, looking at, I mean, every, every town I've been to thus far has the city budget out in plain sight, out in plain sight that you can review, and they're refusing to allow me to see it. Again, this is the third time. And if you care about your town, I mean, you work here, I'd suggest you all start looking into it and find out why they don't want me to look into it. Because I've looked into other places, because they, they know who I am. I've been at other cities and stuff, and I found a lot of red flags uh, for misusing and mishandling monies um, that have been criminally investigated. And they don't want me to look at it. So, just, I just want to give you a heads up. I mean... But I do appreciate your professionalism. I mean, you, you, you've you been the pleasure here. Okay? I, I really do. Thank you. So, anyway. So he didn't have time to help me. And had to leave. And now he's back just standing around. But as the lawyer that's supposed to be helping with these records isn't able to hand me the budget book. Here's a copy, make sure you report me correctly. Mm -hmm. Here's a copy of the city's budget. You are welcome to have it. And now would you please let these people go back and do their job? That okay. is the, that's the city. Budget. So this is the entire budget for this physical year? That is, that is my understanding that's correct, yes. Okay. Now, will you please allow these people to go back and do their work and serve the people of the city of uh, Montevideo? They wasn't serving me until you got involved. So, thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll just file the complaint, and um, um, you'll probably probably get phone calls and stuff about this, and I apologize for that. But thank you. But you got the budget right. I've got a printout, but I wasn't able to inspect the actual budget as requested. That, that, um, that is the actual budget. Um, from from the binder is what I asked for. It's, it's not a, I don't think we have a binder. So it's all digital. Yeah, but the budget is digital. I'm sure they're paper copies. Because they're supposed to have a printout. Um, according to law, they're supposed to have the printouts for the, uh, the last three or four physical years. I can't remember the exact number. That, that is, you asked for the budget, we gave you the budget. But if you, you know, so please let them go back to work. <laughs> I wish they were went went to work when I was here. I, I want you to understand, this is the third time that I've requested this budget. The first time I came here, I got arrested for for asking to view it. The second time I came here, they shut down City Hall. Do you understand the, why? 
I have no no idea why. The, one of the, the one of the clerk is actually afraid of you. How is she afraid of me? I don't, I'm just telling you what. I was in, I was in there for less than 55 seconds the uh, first time when she called the police. I'm, well, I'm okay. just saying that she, she indicated that she's afraid of you because of the way that you uh, approached her. How did I approach her? And, and you and I spoke on the phone, and I told you anything you need. Mm. If you I, you don't even have to come up here. If you just call me and tell me what you need, I will get it for you. And so it makes mm. me think that your your intent is not really to get information; it's to harass these people the way that you've been. Because anything you need, you don't even have to travel for it. I'll get it for you. Okay. Yeah. But I'm being denied the same access everybody else is, though. No, you, you're, you're actually being offered treatment that other people don't get. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, anybody, anybody can come into this building and ask for, for records, yeah, right? Yeah, but I don't, I don't tell this anybody. Okay. Tell me what you need, and I'll make sure you get it. Okay, yeah. but I can also come inspect it. But since you're here, and I've already submitted a request with them, um... I am requesting because the chief of police uh, walked out and videotaped my car and also me as well several times. Um, I'm asking for those because those are public records. Um, I am requesting for that. Also, but those may or may not be public records, but I'll certainly ask them. Oh, there absolutely are because she's in her official. I'm just letting you know, just, just hear me out. There, while she's in her official duty and official capacity, which she is, and she's conducting an investigation, which she is, and recording on the while she's on, on, on the clock. A member of the public who's engaged with other people that, that is a public record it's already been ruled in court on that I, 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 there's probably about four or five case case laws on that specifically but i'm asking for the video and pictures she's taken and also for all the officers because they're all using personal cameras here and so you can't use personal cameras to circumvent public records okay that's already been ruled in court as well so um i, I, I would tell them they're not interested anything to try to circumvent public records. Well, they are by using using their personal phones and not indicating them in records by downloading them or making them accessible to the public. So that, that's that's an issue that I have as well uh, with, you doing? with what, the way that they're conducting business here. But again, um, coming in here, this is all protected in the First Amendment. You know that. Um, me asking for records is, is official business. By them not respecting my business, by not helping me, is denial of service. They've not denied. No, they, they did two other times. I'm not this time they denied it as well too by uh, making me come contact you to request that. Now, how many other people have that come in and ask for records have to personally call you to get those records? The only, I told you why they called me because of the history. I'm telling you, mm. she's afraid of you. Because of the way you interacted and the things that you've done, she is... All I did was come in and record. I understand what you're saying. There's nothing illegal. I never threatened her or anything like that. It's unwarranted paranoia. If she's that concerned about people walking around with cameras, there's cameras in there, okay? And people asking for requests. If she cannot do her job by... She's the clerk. If she cannot provide records to the, any member of the public... If she's concerned about her personal safety, she has the right to do her... It has to be warranted. There is no warranted there, sir. Warranted? That's a subjective determination. Okay. Well, if she was fearful for her life, then why did she come up to me and and, and tell me the first time that I couldn't be in there with cameras, oh, no. but you got and then the second time she took my request? She just took my request. You, you, so that makes no sense. She, she, she it, always it, takes your request. <laughs> no, she doesn't, because she told me no three times until you got here. So whatever you told her in there, whatever advice you gave her, she came back and then took my request. Okay, so prior to you, she told me no three times. She shut the door and wouldn't even come out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that she understood what you actually. She did. absolutely did. I, I understand you're, you're trying so, to protect so, their interests. So now, you, now you can read her mind. Uh, okay. You can tell, you can let tell her what she, she ought to be subjectively afraid of. No, what I can say is that I can look at the video and show. Me you wouldn't give me your, your contact information, mm -hmm. um, and you made a request verbally. So someone has to be able to get back in touch with you about that request. They have my information. Well, um, if you give it to me now, I'll make sure I, that I have it. My, I'll give you my email address. Okay. You wanna, I don't have anything to write with. Okay, I think so. If you can make a request and then not provide information, contact They have my information. Well, well, you, uh, they ha I mean, you say they do, but, they, yeah. but you don't know that. We, we've corresponded many times, but yeah, we can go on. Okay. So now... Uh, uh -huh. My handwriting is horrible. I'll give it to you so you can write it down. Okay. It's a uh, central civilian. Okay, say it's spelling for me. Central. C E N T R A L. Yes, civilian auditor at gmail dot com.
Hey, are you full name? Um, I'm not going to give that up this time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. You, you see the irony in that? Uh, I see the irony in that you were saying that I was being disruptive in there by no, the asking. Uh, excuse me, I was talking. I'm, yeah, I, I, I listen to you talk, brother. I'm asking for. I'm asking for. Contact information. So and I, I, I gave you contact you. information. It, and you that's don't my email. It to me. I gave it to you. Time? I gave you my email I, address. I, I have centralcivilianauditor.com. Uh, at at gmail. Gmail. That's absolutely correct. I hope that's correct. But I just, I just want to explain. You just said I was disrupting business by conducting business in there. But you invited me back into the building to write down my email address. That's interesting. You know what? Ugh. <sighs> You guys have started this, man. Yep. Alright guys, so just to recap, I came here again to look at the budget. This is the third time that I was denied to inspect the budget. Third time. Uh, first time I was arrested, again, second time they shut down City Hall, third time they completely ignored me. Now she's claiming she's fearful of her life for videotaping and recording um, her and it's it's crazy guys. Uh, it's, it's perfectly legal if she's uncomfortable with people coming in asking for open records requests and exercise their freedom then that just goes to show you that she's not supposed to be an employee of the city of Marshallville. But they printed a copy of what they claim to be the budget. Uh, six pages, it looks like. Um, however, I asked to inspect it, not to get a printed copy of it. The chief of police here um, has decided, rather than to aid and to help citizens here, to tried to intimidate by recording coming in and out and then trying to record my license plates so what we'll do is that we'll go through sure my battery's good um, I won't tell you what other things I'm going to do because I don't want them to be able to cover up their tracks but I know that they're going to because they're definitely watching this video at this point but again all this for asking to see a city's budget all to see a city budget this is the type of type of uh, atmosphere that we're in and again three times three times the first chief of police arrested me the second chief of police instead of trying to be considerate and warming and inviting you know try to make up for his mistakes for the city goes on at a uh, little tamper tantrum trying to intimidate me with the camera in my face and recording my plates so You've heard the uh, old phrase, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> for those who are <laughs> from the south, I guess. I think that's the old police chief right there. Flip this camera around so you ain't looking at my face. Police department here in Marshville is closed for training, yet their police chief is over at City Hall, right over there. Right there. And I guess they're training on how to harass citizens and prevent open records requests for their city. So, um, <laughs> wow. Guys, this, this town here, if you're a citizen of this town or surrounding this town here, 
you guys need to come out here to City Hall, request and demand that you look at the budgets here and see what's going on with this town. Find out why they're treating people that the way that they are. Now, I just want to show you real quick. That's the city attorney that just left that came back again. Had something else to say. So, <laughs> well, just just to say, just to wrap that up real quick, uh, from one of the comments, is that if she truly was fearful of her life from me, then she did come up and take my request. They could have had somebody else take that request for her. She didn't exhibit any of those behaviors, guys, as far as body language. This is the narrative they want to run with now. Um, <laughs> because you asked for open records request here. And they become fearful of their life. Makes you wonder if they're fearful of their life for op asking to see the budget in this town. What are they actually hiding here? What's going on here that she would be fearful of her life from me requesting the city budget? Makes one, one, makes one wonder, you know? It really does. But... Hey yeah, guys, I went live there. The only reason why I went live... I wasn't anticipating going live. But the only reason why I went live because there's a guy that's sitting there. He was in the very first video. The old, older guy with a ball cap. Um, was threatening me um, with uh, physical harm for taking a photograph. And he claims that he's not a public official and that he doesn't work for the city, but yet he is sitting behind the secured area. He was there the last two other times we were here. Well, excuse me, at least one other time for sure. And he was actually working and utilizing public resources or uh, city resources and appeared to be doing work. So if he's not working here, I don't know if he's volunteering, but if he's volunteering, that would still make him a public servant. If he's not volunteering and he's using city printers and information and stuff like that hmm makes you wonder how this is in a squirrel make <laughs> who knows who knows but again he had a court appearance that he now keep guys remember this this lawyer said that he could not assist me in any way I've let me inspect those records, and all I had to do was call and whatever, and he has no time for me whatsoever, whatsoever, today. He's on his way to court, and here's this vehicle here again. He pulled out, and when he saw me walk away, he came back. Just to prove to you, it's the same vehicle, and it's the same tag. P1438787. So, but again, the lawyer said he had no time to help me, couldn't help me, and he's here now with them. So, what we'll do, because again, just to show you, there he is right there. Thought you had court you had to go to, sir. So I thought you had court you had to go to. Okay. Well, I just noticed that you went in and came out without a mask. Yeah, I, you know I did. I forgot my mm -hmm. mask. I went. I social distanced while I was there. I stood far enough away, just like I'm. I, but I noticed you don't even wear a mask. I don't. You know why I'm wearing a mask? I wear a mask because I want to protect other people. How come you don't? Um, that's a personal question. Yeah, I know. I know. But let me ask you, more importantly, is it a law that you're required to by law? It doesn't matter. Just ask him. If I care enough about other people to try to protect okay. them, I don't need a law to, do, to tell me that. Okay, well, if you cared enough to protect people, you would have helped me in there instead of been a hindrance. I did. 
Did you get what you wanted? No, I didn't because I asked him to inspect the records. I got printed pages. There's a difference. So you didn't do what I requested under the Open Records Act and did what you wanted to. And then you shut the door. <laughs> so, so again, attorney for the city wants to talk about mask and wasn't wearing a mask. Again, guys, I mean, everybody has their own opinion about this mask mandate, whatever. Or it's not even a mandate, it's a requ uh, request. <clears throat> David S., you are not right for that. What's his name? I, I got a copy of it uh, on the video earlier when they gave me his information earlier. But again, sorry guys, the city truck's there. <laughs> so, again guys, I want to point out that the guy had absolutely no time